It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Detroit Lions and the Houston Texans. And it kicks off next on Madden NFL 25. On a wonderful fall afternoon in the state of Texas, the roof is open and we've got football from NRG Stadium in Houston. Brandon Gaughan and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. from NRG Stadium in Houston. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Texans offense heading out behind their quarterback in his second season, last year's Offensive Rookie of the Year, C.J. Stroud. And he's coming off of a truly remarkable rookie season where he quieted a lot of his doubters in a most emphatic fashion. Remember, going into the draft, many thought he was the number two quarterback coming out of college. He proved quickly he was a top quarterback going into the NFL. One of the best rookie seasons by a quarterback in recent memory. And what's scary about it, he's not even close to reaching his ceiling. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. A first carry here for Joe Mixon. It'll be a five-yard pickup there. So from second and 13, they're back to a more manageable third and eight. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Here's Stroud. That's to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Here's Tommy Townsend on to punt. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Lions will take over. And out come the Lions for their first drive behind their ninth-year quarterback in year number four with Detroit. It's Jared Goff. It's hardly an exaggeration to say that Goff has revitalized his career these last couple of years, and he's rewarded for it during the offseason, as Detroit has certainly made sure everyone knows he's their quarterback for the future. It's clear that they believe in him, and he's done nothing to sway them from that belief. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Henry Tooto got in there behind the line of scrimmage that time. Let's face it, that's just a helpless feeling for a running back there. He's looking up to find a hole, and all he finds is a whole lot of ticked-off linebacker. Here's Gaw. He's got his 6'5 receiver. That's Tim Patrick. That'll give him eight that time. And that'll bring us to a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now Gaw. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. 
On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. Back deep is Steven Sims. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Texans will take over. Stroud to throw it. Over the middle, complete. That's Woods. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it's second down. And I think he just wanted to give the ball to one of his playmakers to see if they can make something happen. But he ends up throwing into a crowded area. And after the catch, he isn't able to do much with it. Here's second and three. Stroud off the play fake. Man open. That's complete to Dalton Schultz. And they're able to get this one across the 35. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. Impressive catch there by Schultz. And he's coming off a strong campaign that saw him produce over 600 yards in his first season with the Texans. He's more than a reliable target. He's a team leader on the offensive side of the ball. And Stroud now to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Now a second and ten. The throwing again is Stroud. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 40. A gain there of 21 yards. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Stroud. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Ball on the 39. Here's second down and eight. Stroud out of the gun here. That's caught again by Schultz. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And Diggs has it. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. I'll give him credit there. Nice job on the drag route. Bring the receiver across the field, hoping he can catch it in stride and turn it up. He was able to do just that, although he's just a little bit short of the first down. So from the 22, here's second and two. Throwing now is Stroud. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Lions are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, 
the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Goff now looking to throw. And he finds Montgomery complete. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told them, if you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it, pick up first downs. Into the hands of Patrick, left side. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That goes for a gain of 31. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory, down at the 33. And the tight end goes in motion left. To throw is gone. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Montgomery. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and that's going to bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. From the gun, Gibbs will get it. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. The completion on first didn't get much, and now the run on second doesn't get a whole lot either. Well, if you're a good play caller, you've already looked ahead and anticipated this type of situation. Already down in his play sheet, trying to dial up a big third down play. Goff now looks to throw. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Now the Lions, they send out the field goal unit here. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. And this one is right down the middle. And the Lions are going to take a 3-0 lead. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. And he will be taken down here as the first quarter of play will come to an end. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Houston. It's the Texans in possession of the football. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. In a close game like this, Charles, those interceptions like they had on the last drive could be costly, but here they've got another opportunity to seize control of this game. And they'd better take advantage of it because otherwise, if they end up losing by one score, they'll relive this over and over and over until they have another opportunity to wipe it away. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. 
Now Stroud. Into space at the 45. And finally brought down right at the midfield stripe. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Again, it's Drowned. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Alex Anzalone in there to drop him for a loss on the play. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Stroud looking to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 38-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Schultz. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Second and five. Stroud will look to throw once more. That's complete to Dell. And the Texans are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Stroud working out of the gun. This is caught. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Mixon is into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and they actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. Oh, 
And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Throw to St. Brown, complete on the left side. From just shy of midfield, here's second and two. Off the option, here's Gibbs. And he's stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. I haven't met a defense coordinator yet that thinks second and two is a fun situation to try and defend. Playbook is wide open for an offense partner. Nice job. Hold him to one after that eight-yard pickup on first down. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. And this is going to be incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple of big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. The Texans offense and C.J. Stroud getting ready for this next drive. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. From the 17, here's second and four. Here's Stroud. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him 17 on the pick up there, and the Texans also get a new set of downs. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. A great job there. And that old cliche, taking what the defense gives you, comes right into play. Nothing too out of the ordinary about the throw. Just a little dump off over the middle. But what is out of the ordinary is what he did with it after the catch. Not only did he grab the ball, but how about the significant yardage he picked up after he pulled it in? So the completion good for seven there, and that'll bring up second down. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half.
second down and three. They'll look to throw again. And this will be incomplete. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession, but the coverage held. It goes incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. A shotgun snap to Stroud. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 19. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Here goes Stroud again. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. From 19 yards away. And the Texans will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. And what I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And that'll give us momentum going into the second half. Give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbear. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So this drive spans seven plays. And the result, a Houston touchdown. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And the Lions going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Golf. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now a second and six. They'll fake the handoff. Now golf. Incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Goff throwing again. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 31-yard line. So we've come upon halftime here in Houston, and it's the home team, the Texans, leading this one. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. It was a terrific first half from the former Offensive Rookie of the Year, C.J. Stroud. 
He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double-digit lead. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Ready for the second half. 14 to 3 our score as we are back underway on EA Sports. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Got St. Brown running the quick slant here. And St. Brown going to have the Lions first down as he'll get this up to the 43. That'll go as a pickup of eight. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. First down. Here's the run with Montgomery. A strong running. <laughs> and he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. First down Detroit, 16 yards on the pickup. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Now gone. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over in that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Texans are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. As they started that drive, I think they looked at the scoreboard and said, this is a manageable deficit, guys, but let's go ahead and start cutting it down right here. Instead, an interception happened, so a two-possession game might become three. So as we get going here in the second half, this could rapidly reach the point where there isn't enough time left for a comeback if their defense doesn't bail them out. Here's the Texans' offense now, readying for their first possession of the second half. And their defense just helped them out by getting the football back on the opening drive here in the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. This second and four. Stroud. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. And Stroud now to throw. That is caught. And he is going to have a Texans first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside.
To the right side and caught by Dell. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. From the gun to give to Mixon. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Third down and six. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. The Texans send the punter out as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Tackled by the cornerback, Derek Stingley. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Second and nine. Off play action. Here's Goff. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. But when the running game's not working, sometimes you just got to take a few more chances down the field. That's a good effort, but it winds up incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. In motion goes Patrick. A shotgun snap for Gong. Outright, this one goes to Patrick. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and that'll bring up fourth down. A short game that doesn't get them the first situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. The Texans' offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart, and that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. Stroud out of the gun here. The left side caught by Diggs. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up second down. Stroud to throw it. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. That one goes for eight yards. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. And they run the option here on first and ten. Broken tackle. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Beating him there with his legs. 21 yards, first down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. 
Throwing now is Stroud. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their route. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Robert Woods, a 15-yard touchdown grab as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me, very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me, and they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Fairbairn now to add the extra point. And it's 21-3. That time, a six-play drive. And it ends with a Robert Woods touchdown reception. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And Detroit getting set to go now. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. Final minute now of the third quarter. Goff now to throw. A throw caught by Raymond. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That tackle behind the line made by Will Anderson. you got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. Here's gone. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Houston. It's the Lions trailing, but with possession of the football as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. Goff now looking to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Patrick. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. They get 17 down to the 17, and it's a first down. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. 
Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. He will push his way down to about the 14. Henry Toho Toho there on the tackle. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Second down and eight. Now it's gone. He'll get this one to Patrick. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. The Lions on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. From the gun, here's Goff. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And the Lions are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Montgomery will take this one in. It's a Lions touchdown. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Now for the point after. It's up and good, and the lead is down now at 11. It's 21 to 10. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The home team's offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. From the 34-yard line, here's second and three. A handoff, running left, Mixon. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. And this is the worry because sometimes you can get a little too predictable in spots like this. You know you're going to run the ball, but they know you're going to run the ball as well. And now you look up and you're staring at an important third down. Two yards still to go, third down now. Here's Stroud. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. Now that's a killer because you think you've got it absolutely covered, and then he hot foots it out of there and picks up a first down. Drives you crazy as a defense. Looks like you're exactly right. Looked like a for sure stop on third, and then the tables turn. Stroud looking to throw. He's got the hookup with Diggs. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Stay. 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 
So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Play action. Stroud now. Oh, and that is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Second and ten. Now Stroud. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. With all the success they've had throwing the football as a pass rusher, you know you've got to come hard when you see him drop back to throw. So I really like this call to counteract that pass rush with a screen. It turns into positive yardage. A lot of times the offense says, just replace the rusher with the ball, and it turns into a good play. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we gotta get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. And he's gonna push his way down to about the 12. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out, and we've got them now. And the Texans are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and, and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. They'll give it to Mixon. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Another try for Mixon. Looking to find a lane, but he can't. Reined in at the line of scrimmage. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Here's Mixon. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So on fourth down, Texan kicker Kaimi Fairbairn comes on. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. The kick by Fairbairn is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but they still ate up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. Fairbairn now following the made field goal. He'll send this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So here's Goff and the Lions. Down by two touchdowns. A minute 47 on the clock. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. They're able to get this to Patrick. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 
At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Goff now looks to throw. Going underneath, Gibbs has it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. Now a play fake, and it's gone. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. Here's second down. Now gone. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. The Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. This crowd turning up the decibel level. It's third and long. Play action. It's gone. And that is incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Texans take over an excellent field position. And the football going back over now to the Houston Texans. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset. To Anigo Stroud, and that is going to be all she wrote. So this one in the win column for the Texans, and it was thanks in large part to the play of their second-year quarterback. Yeah, I thought this defense just didn't have an answer for him all game long. They tried to change things up, but he was always one step ahead. And he finished with over 300 yards passing and two touchdown passes as well. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Texans as we say so long from Houston.